Stephanie here with a new What's for Dinner. This week, these meals are gonna be super simple, but they're also pretty tasty. Doing this in this direction though, because look at my new spice racks. I found these on Amazon a while back, put them in my wish list, and my mother just got them for me. So I'm very excited that my spices are now right next to my stove top, but let's get into some meals. First up, I ate out. I was on a road trip, so I started my week in Utah. I ate at a chain called Super Chicks, but I had never been there before. My favorite part was that they had a sauce bar because I love a good dipping sauce. So this was my favorite part, but the food was also really good. I got the cheesy barbecue chicken sandwich, which had some fried onions on it and fries and dipping sauces. When I got home from my road trip, I was keeping it simple for a few days, or really for the whole week, but I started out with the last package of my Bibigo steamed dumplings, and I had that with broccoli, which also goes really well with the dipping sauce from the Bibigo dumplings. The next night, had the rest of the broccoli, along with some Kraft mac and cheese, made up just like the package says, but with a little bit of added cheddar cheese that I threw in there at the last moment. And then I had some creamy chicken over rice. So this was not something I had done before. Normally, if I'm going to make a chicken Alfredo style thing, I'm going to make it over pasta. But I've seen a bunch of people have creamy chicken over rice. So I decided, let me give that a try. So I didn't follow a recipe here, but I did meal prep rice for not only this meal, but another one as well, and to go along with lunches. So I made two cups of rice in the Instant Pot. It's just chicken broth and rice. I put it in there for four minutes. It was a white rice, and then I let it do a natural release and fluffed it up with a fork. I did two cups of rice and then two cups of liquid, and this worked out perfectly. It was nice and fluffy, and with those two cups of rice, I ended up getting, I believe, five meals out of this uh, because I did have this chicken dish for dinner and for lunch, and then another meal that I'll show y'all after this one uh, that also resulted in several different lunches as leftovers. So with my chicken, I throw this in the Instant Pot and I put some salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning on both sides of my chicken. The Italian seasoning did not want to come out of the jar, so it took some effort trying to season my chicken, but I did make sure to season both sides well. And then to cook the chicken, it was still partially frozen. I had pulled it out of the freezer and it was thawed most of the way through, but to be safe and make sure it was fully cooked, I did cook this on high pressure for 10 minutes and then let it do a natural release after that. And then I checked it with the meat thermometer and it did come out above the 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So just make sure your chicken is fully cooked before you eat it. I'm very paranoid about the chicken. I know I say that a lot. So 10 minutes on high pressure and then the natural release did the trick. And then for my sauce, again, I did not go off of a recipe. So this was just kind of winging it. I melted some butter. I added a whole bunch of garlic in there, add garlic to your heart's content. And then once I had that fragrant, I stirred it up and went ahead and added heavy cream to this. And y'all, this dish turned out so good. I was really happy with how this cream sauce turned out because it tasted very similar to the Alfredo I get at my favorite Italian takeout place. So I'm glad that I have a recording of how I made this that I can replicate it again in the future and have it over pasta. Although the rice was good. So I add heavy cream. This is over low heat so that the heavy cream will come to a simmer but not fully boil. And then I season this with some salt and a little bit of pepper. And then I added in some Parmesan cheese. So this is just the shredded Parmesan cheese that I got on sale at Costco recently. And I did not measure at all. I just kept throwing cheese in there until I decided that seemed like enough. 
and I let it all kind of melt in simmering with that heavy cream sauce. And then this is what my chicken looked like when it was done. So it did taste absolutely delicious in this sauce. I chopped it up into small pieces so that it would be good to go over the rice and not need to cut it up once it was on top of there. And I stirred it into the sauce and let it absorb some of that sauce for a few minutes while I got the rest of my bowl ready. And then I just served this over the white rice with a little bit of steamed asparagus right on top of it. And this was also good as leftovers. Next up, some teriyaki chicken sausage. So I finally was able to find the pineapple bacon chicken sausage and I was so excited to try it with some teriyaki sauce. So what I did for this was cut it up into small slices and then once it was all cut up, I coated it in some teriyaki sauce and then put it on a sheet pan and let it go in the air fryer. And I did use the air fry function. I know lately I've been using the air roast function quite a bit, but I did use the air fry function and I only did this for about 10 minutes or so. And this turned out so delicious. And I got not only a dinner out of this, but also two days of lunches as well to take to work. So this is really great for not only an easy weeknight dinner, but also for meal prep. This is fantastic because it does reheat really well, especially if you reheat it over the top of the rice and that teriyaki sauce just kind of caramelizes into the rice. Very good. Highly recommend trying this one. I had leftover asparagus from when I made the creamy chicken and rice. So I used that when I had this on this particular night, but then when I had it for lunches, I had it with leftover broccoli and I do prefer the broccoli with this over the asparagus, although the asparagus is still good. So again, definitely recommend picking up that pineapple bacon chicken sausage if you see it. And then last up for this video is very simple. It's a hot dog, but I decided to show y'all the process of me making this anyways, because it was very tasty. I used some barbecue sauce on this, but I drew inspiration from the dog house and that's dog house is in H A U S. I know it's a chain, but it's not necessarily everywhere. So let me know in the comments down below if you have ever been to uh, dog house and what is your favorite thing to get there? Because mine is the cowboy dog, which this is not an exact replica of at all. That one is covered in bacon with the barbecue sauce, and I believe there's a cheesy type sauce on there. And then also it has some fried onions on it. So I did not wrap my hot dog in bacon. I did not have any bacon on hand, but I did have barbecue sauce and cheese and crispy onions. So I decided to amp up my hot dog a little bit, stray from my normal because my normal is ketchup and onions and that's it. Uh, I had barbecue sauce that I spread out on one half of the hot dog roll. The other half of the hot dog roll, I put some shredded Colby Jack cheese because that is what I had on hand. And then I also had some of those little crispy onions. I think it's the Aldi version of the French's crispy onions. I had already started my hot dog in the air fryer. And then once I had my roll ready, I added the hot dog to the bun, added a little bit more barbecue sauce right there on top of the hot dog that I spread around. And then I threw this back in the air fryer until my cheese was nice and melty. Since the hot dog was already uh, fully cooked, it really just needed to be warmed through. So I threw that back in the air fryer. I served this up with some barbecue chips. And then I also had some red bell pepper that I needed to finish up. So I just had that sliced up on the side and look at that barbecue sauce and the melty cheese. This was a very simple but very tasty dinner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more content.